They can be healthcare workers, um, support workers, nurses, for example. You can provide nurses, healthcare workers into places like hospitals, for example, private hospitals, county councils, for example, care homes, for example, if you're providing a recruitment care agency. And I always say that if I was to do things the other way around, I did CQC first. Back then it was uh, C-Sky, for example, and CQC. But I did that first, but I really would have, I really should have done, this is my opinion, I really should have done a recruitment care agency because I did the recruitment care agency after I got registered for my dom care and my nursing agency. So I was providing nurses in the community registered with the Care Quality Commission to provide nurses into people's homes to do medication, for example, okay? I then, from that point, set up a nursing agency where I was providing nurses and healthcare workers to care homes, to hospitals, etc. So those are the orders that um, I would have switched it round. I would have done agency first, and then I would have done nurses in the community, and then I would have done domiciliary. Okay, that's just my opinion after what I experienced in the. 20 years of doing healthcare businesses, for example. So one of the things you need to make sure that you do is that you, well, you have to, that staff members are, uh, they've got a disclosure and barring in terms of DBS checks, that they are no records found and that it's clear, it's enhanced, for example, usually. Sometimes you may come across where someone does have a record, but it all depends really on how long ago it was and what the what happened, you know, it could have been something that happened from when they were 17 years old or something like that or it all depends, but you need to get them to write a statement of what happened and how they would deal with this today, for example, 